Hey there, this is Mickey 3193 again, and in this video, I'm going to be cracking this bad boy open. This is the Hot Wheels Road Roller with my favourite bone shaker set in there. Which, to say it's my favourite, I've got a lot that I've customised, but I only actually have, I'll say two. I have the red one. I don't have the pink one. And the other one I have is the one in this set, which may end up be looking at the last couple of days thinking, is this going to be the next thing that I open up? But they are the actual only bone shakers I have. I do like them when you did have the open roof and the little rear quarter windows. So. Get, up, get into it and get it opened up as well. I'd say out of all of them, that's the best looking truck. That. So it's going to be a metal cab with this plastic body, opening hatch, and here's so many of us. Now, this one, a highway blast. I really want this one. I'm going to hunt this one down and find this one. There's only one shop in the area. Yes, for at Morecambe that actually sell these so hopefully I'll be able to pick this one up I just love the shape of the front if anyone looks, sees my Instagram they'll see me post some pictures up from Gears of War and that cab reminds me a lot of the truck in there which I was wanting to try and recreate so there's a chance I'm going to be picking this one up to do a custom on and we also we have the Rumble Road the Road Valley Big Dog, Double Demon, and the Road Roller. Now I don't know if these are an older series, because there's some of a different series that have appeared in the as the Walmart, which have a very cool tractor, which is sat on like a a truck with a flatbed, which looks pretty awesome. So let's get into this and get it open. I never realised that's very nice, it's got, it's actually it's all metal, it's got a metal base to this one, which I was not expecting, nice orange, and you got your, I'm not sure what colour, light pale blue, with a double zero, and a flame skull on the side, yeah. and to get in the way, just adjust this camera a bit. There we go. Still has the plastic skull, which to be honest I do prefer. That one would have looked a lot better in it with the chrome colouring rather than this flat grey. Roof, sorry, as you can see inside the gearbox there, steering wheel in your seats, nice bucket seats in there. <laughs> and a big issue was like a fuel tank and your other parts. See your suspension on the back. Again, the wheels are a bit bland. I do prefer these with the spokes wheels. Yeah, real riders would be even better, but can't get it all. But no, it's very nice. I like that one. Really cool colour, especially the weight difference with that metal base. That's very cool. I really wasn't expecting metal base to that. Now let's have a look at this truck. It's a very light, let's see if we can get this off here. Is it supposed, is it supposed to come off? Say it's detachable. Yep, it says detachable, but it doesn't want to come off. So just pull out. It doesn't want to break. 
like this, but it's not wanting to come out, is it? Nope, I can't get that out of there, I don't wanna try and brush it now on camera and then damage it. So I'll leave it on for now. We have got a metal plastic base, cab part, which sees orange. It's all metal. Some real nice big wheels on there. Nice, not chrome. That's like brushed metal kind of look to it. It's got a bit of age to it, which is very cool. I like that. Again, it's got the same detailing, but it's skull with your double zero on there. On the which file is a sticker in there? Pack it, but it's not a sticker, it's like a big, it's like a print. It'll be a form, it's, it's a form of sticker, but it's, it's like it's been printed on there. Or like a transfer, and we've got a different design on the other side. Hot wheels or your skulls. And then at the back we have the doors. This is where biting your nails doesn't help. Oh, well, it's not going to let me open it. I didn't tell what I've got. Oh, I've got There we go. Put it open. To which you can put your cars in there. Single wheel on the back. Nice spoke wheels, which are, these are the type I mean and I prefer on the bottom shaker. We've got a twin axle on the back of the cab. Nice pipes on it. Just open to the interior. So if you wanted to split this and give it some detailing inside, you could do. And I'm sure this would make for a pretty good custom anyway. Nice bit of a canvas there to do some work on. But yeah, it's very cool. So I'll let me camera. And there they are, side by side. Very cool set. I'll say thanks for watching. Actually, it goes in with these at the back. There we go. All go together. Right. And I'll say thanks for watching and I'll get something else up soon.